Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And we start once again at Batley, where we started the last video. But this time, the route is completed. As you can see, there is a small tunnel and then a much larger tunnel. In the last video, I created a roughly mile long tunnel followed by a mile long viaduct that went all the way to Stratford upon Avon that is not actually upon Avon. In today's video the idea is going to be some more detailing so this is probably going to be a shorter video because there is less detailing to do but it is going to be all around the viaduct once again as there is not much else that I need to do although as you can see there are some farm uh, some farm borders some boundaries that i need to sort out so make sure you stay tuned for some further detailing and also thank you to those people who have been commenting with suggestions for example for uh, train line names so there is there is a name that i now have in mind i have not yet settled upon it but i am considering it and i think it will work after i've done the detailing in this video the plan is, before I end this video, to just reiterate what I want to do with the express lines and the stopping services so that everybody has an idea of where I want this series to go and where I want the railways to go. With all of that said, I think it's time to get started, so make sure you stay tuned. Let's get started as that train now leaves as autosave kicks in, maybe just about the right time and um, let's get some detailing going. Okay, since the detailing is not going to be too difficult at the moment, I'm going to leave the, I'm going to leave the title playing. Um, sometimes this is not a good idea, so if you are having some trouble with the with the title just just pause pause your game when when you are doing certain types of detailing and building that would be quite useful so i'm just going to go ahead and continue with this there we go and so for this bit what i want to do is i just want to bring this I think bringing that over in this manner and then that across there allows me to perhaps put some trees in uh, on this side. Also, what I want to do is I want to break this bit here and just swing that over in this direction a little and then bring that... I see that that could be... This could be a bit of a problem because of the tunnel height. There we go. That angle sort of worked. Try and give it an angle... Something along these lines. There we go. That should be okay. So I can put some... I can put some of the uh, trees up at the top. Now the rest of this is is going to be pretty much the same. I would probably just knock that bit out and I think that is roughly suitable. So now we just move on to the opposite side where already there are some cuts which does make my life much easier. And all I'm going to do is uh, Probably need that to be a fairly straight line. All I'm going to do is... No, do not bring it up there. Bring it up to that. Now give it a little bit more in a straight line. Across this side... And I suppose what I could do at this point is just connect this up 
to say connect it, just bring it very close to this bit here and then this side can just come down like so. Pretty easy overall. And then all I have to do is follow. Now because this is a straight piece of track, all I have to do is create effectively just a straight line. In fact, what I could do is just find a border that I want. So I want to give it that much space. There we go. And then just draw, say draw a straight line. The only thing I have to be wary of is going to be the top of this hill right here. So I just have to ease it through that bit. And I guess I can keep the... Now the question is, is that as this flattens out, should I keep this gap? I think, I think I will. I think I will keep that gap. Because very quickly we end up coming up to an embankment. So the placement of that gap is probably fairly logical. So there we go. Just bring that across there without any real issues. Yes, that was a good, that was a good call. In fact, from here, I want to, no, not do what it just did. I'm going to turn it in like that. There we go. So that is that side completed. Now I could probably do exactly the same on this side, but I think a good spot to do it from would be the top of this hill. If I do it from the top of the hill, then that way I will roughly know which way is pointing straight, some sort of, trying to make some sort of parallel lines. Probably something like that, although that is perhaps wider than Wider than I would want it. So let me let me just see. Oh, that's very wide. In fact, it isn't even parallel in the slightest. So that was poor. That should be parallel. Hopefully. Now, it isn't quite parallel, but... I can work with that because I can always curve it around. Ah, so that has not worked either. Wait a minute, that is not a straight. Why did that do that? That is how it should have gone. Still not parallel. I guess I could turn it ever so slightly and then make a make it a straight line again. And see how that that is working much better. So it was just off by was it off by perhaps a degree or so? Certainly nothing to too severe and then of course I'm going to need to try and do some sort of curve around here this is this is where things are going to get a little bit more complicated but before I do that I need to complete this side of the line ah yes do I want to should I make an attempt to create this as the straight line that it was supposed to be 
think I shall. It is worth a try. And it will work. Just. They're pretty close, but it, it does work. In fact, it gives me some of the detailing that I would want from it anyway. Which is strange, but there we go. And then just connect that there, and connect that there, and we have... We have this bit completed. Now for these, very simple. Uh, would that be okay to connect like that? I think so. And then this one. Perhaps a little less so. So for this one, let's just bring it as close as possible and do that. There we go. That is that bit's completed. Next up is a straight line to that. And then again, without quite connecting, this bit is okay. And then this bit here, can it, can it connect? Will it be okay? It, it shall. Okay. So that is now that section sorted out. Yes, it does need some trees, but both those sections are done. Now for the bulk of this video, and that is this bit in the middle. So the first thing I need to do is remove any areas. Oh, no. Remove any areas that might get in its way. So... What it is, is it is trying to select the bridge. As I said, I've been having problems with these bridges for... I'm not sure how long now. But I have no idea what is actually causing it. Uh, and then this bit in the middle I will sort out at a later time. That gives me... Good. That gives me an opening there. Now, what... I think I will do is oh where where's my um uh tracks thing gone my road toolbox I might have accidentally got rid of it whoops now how close do I want to do this so I've done this before over in this area and how close did I put these a uh, little bit away not too far so I will do the I'll try and apply the same try to apply the same concept here which is about there I would say And this should be pretty much perfectly straight. Is that moving further away? It may be ever so slightly. But since we will be turning from there, it does not really matter. Or does it? Now that looks reasonable enough. Now, what I could do is okay, I have an idea. It is a bad idea, but no, I cannot use that idea. Never mind. I was going to use the parallel tool to do something, but I've just realized how bad an idea that is going to be with height offsets and different terrains and all of that. This is too close. That is better. That is 
definitely better. Right, all the way up to the top. Is that one now moving in a little? Possibly. Possibly moving in just a little bit more than than I would want it to to move, but this should be should be doable. And the reason I say that is because I cannot I cannot see this being too much of a problem. At, after all, all I'm doing is placing down a a hedge at the moment. How hard how hard can it be? And I know those are words people say don't ever say that. But um Oh, that's a mistake from me. There we go. But really if if I am doing this, the only thing that could go wrong here is is a game crash. And if that happens, well that wouldn't be the first one that I've had. This is getting a little close to the This is getting a little bit closer to the railway than or to the viaduct. This isn't too bad, but it is just a little closer than perhaps I would want it to be. I'll try and just push it away just a tad. And this section is straight, so May be able to just push it away a little bit. There we go. And then this needs to be connected as is. And the opposite side can also have that. But then because we have an embankment coming, I need to I need to open this up a little bit further. Just like that. to allow the embankment to have an edge. And then right the way up to there. In fact, that could work fairly well. Now my question is, is this too close? If I go back over to the other side of Batley, how close was it? Oh, I had placed a whole bunch of... Right, that was the end of the embankment there. There were places where it was fairly close, for example, there. And certainly here it was really close too. So that, I think, that is fairly reasonable. So I may as well go ahead and do the other side now. No time like the present. How much of... How much of a curve can I put on this in one go without it going wrong? No, it has gone wrong. It's a shame. One of the things that I think I think Transports Fever 2 should have had was the ability to... How do I want to do this one? Was the ability to allow the whatever you are building to follow the terrain so as opposed to just cutting through things have an option to to follow the terrain i think that would have been quite uh, quite an interesting i think that would have been quite an interesting mechanic and it would have made for example laying all of these out Far, far easier. No, stop that. There we go. That hasn't worked out too badly overall. And then I just have to do the other side of this where once again I want to open up for the embankment have I opened up enough I think I have just about 
So that is okay. Perhaps not opened up quite as much as the quite as much as on the other side, but it is overall it is okay. There we go. Okay. So that is that bit completed. I have no idea what to do with this bit, really. Personally, I would have a road here and just put some housing behind here. Just as a test. Um, how would these look? I'm not going to be putting these houses up. This is just a, a test. But imagine that that was up against the railway. In fact, if I just put the house in just as a, as I said, as a test. Actually, the realism of that is quite good. That, that does look fairly realistic. Just a railway behind the houses. I would probably have the houses slightly lower too, and then maybe just something back here. I'm sort of taking a little bit of inspiration from the Great Western Railway um, coming out of London, where it passes. So it is on an embankment like this, just like this. And there are some houses and some like construction yards and things like that. So I'm just sort of looking at that and seeing how I could pull that off. But that is not something I need to worry about just yet. What I need to do is start by deleting those two. So that is that completed. Check if there is any other any other bits I need to connect up before deleting. Yes, I need to do this bit. I'll stop that. No, I want this to curve. How, how do I get this to curve in that direction? There we go. And then that can be deleted. And how do I do this one? So this was the one I was a little bit more concerned about. But if I start it early, there we go, start the turn early. Not a problem, really. Ah, for this one, I need a far more gentle turn. No, come on. Come on. That, that is not the kind of turn I am after. Um, no. Right, okay. Well, fine. You can do that. That could work. That could certainly work. And now all I have to do is reconnect these bits. This should not be difficult at all. Although I may need to do some adjustments of farms. So for example, that bit does not need to exist anymore. So that no longer exists. And then bring that across there and that can stay as it is this triangle seems large enough it should be large enough anyway over we go over to that and then right over here connect that that up there connect that up there that triangle does not need to exist this bit can and then, I suppose, see if I can do something with that and that. That looks like everything, everything is connected back to how it should be. Okay, good. Next thing I need to do is check what did I use for this. Um, okay. 
I think I know what that was. So I'll go ahead and I think I think the first thing I want to do is paint all of it in that same in that same colour. That is the one. Now I'll start by painting all of this in the same colour. And then things can change further further on. Although, was I supposed to add the trees first if I wanted to add trees? Because trees mess this up, don't they? So, should I do that first? Okay, perhaps I, perhaps what I'll do is add the trees first and then put this in. Although, for this area, that is not going to matter. Because uh, if I do that, it's one. I think that is not going to matter in this area because there, there are hardly going to be trees right underneath the embankment. The only thing that will matter slightly is uh, whether or not I can keep it within keep it within the lines. Because everything's in shadow, I need to. I think I need to remove this. Um, graphics mod it puts a little bit too much into shadow it makes it much harder to actually detail things great for screenshots um, certain types of screenshots anyway it does make it does cause some problems with other types but what's great for screenshots not so great when it comes to this sort of stuff and especially when you're painting green upon green does not really uh, lend itself to being useful, unfortunately. Speaking of mods to remove, see, I'm, I'm not sure if I've gone over. No, I've not. I, mean, I can just go go back through with, uh, with the uh, eraser tool and just effectively rub everything out just use a rubber on this it's like doing a like doing a color drawing or something color pencil drawing just just rub rub out what you've messed up anything you've messed up just just rub it out but of course that does make it more time consuming and honestly, if you have a look at the amount of hours I've spent on this title, on this series, I think uh, I think it is just a little bit too time consuming to start with. Now I know I've just gone over this, but I will come back and put the put the other bit in the the dirt path public right of well I'll put that back in off camera by the way I have started making some other adjustments to to place it on the map so I will show you that too but at the moment I think that this is this here is pretty much how I wanted it to look right up to up to here I can fade this in later on obviously that is just that little bit before the station that I'm unsure of at this time maybe just put a whole bunch of um, trees there generally seems to be a good thing to do unsure what to do put trees and there we go that is in fact you know what I'll do the same just here. And on this side of the... Let me, let me just pop that in on this side of the embankment. I think I'm not really going to be able to put trees in realistically in this area. I might be able to put some bushes in, but I don't think, I don't think I'll be able to put some trees in. Trees will definitely pop in here, though. 
Right, next thing is to get some dirt. Pick the right size, which is probably about seven, and relay the path. There we go. That is the path back in just there. Probably looks better if I do start putting it in like that as opposed to it just fading out. But for now, I'm going to have to do this to it. There we go. Because I don't think I can keep... I don't think I can go about doing all of these all over again. Uh, and then, where was the other path? Just here now. Maybe. Maybe it looks better just like that. Maybe. Not, not too sure. This path was not well built anyway. And now it is better. Uh, what, what was this for? I think that can go. Maybe just line that with trees neatly. But again, that will be later. Also save. Right, good time to just uh, wait whilst, uh, whilst it goes ahead and does its auto save and nothing messes up. Hopefully. So the reason I wait during an autosave is because I've had instances where it, it has crashed whilst autosaving and then things just go horribly wrong. And the last thing I want to do is start losing all of this all of this time. So there you go. Game time total 392 hours. So wait, if I pause this. Right, that is the actual amount of time I've played this this map. So almost 400 hours of, of this map. But I'm assuming that some of that would have been fast forwarded. Right. Yes. So I've not really done a whole 400 hours, but I have certainly done many, many, many hours. Probably knock off about 50 hours from that, and it, it is probably at a realistic rate or at a realistic time. Right. Now that that is completed, the next thing. I want to do is remove not that remove there we go some of these trees that are just not in in good spots so I will of course be putting trees back in but these these ones should go So all of these these trees in th these bits here can all just disappear. There we go. Couple over on this side, and then if I clear up this field and this field, that will look a little better. Good. After I've done that, so oh maybe just clear up this little bit over, over there. After I've done that, what do I want to do? I want to, I want to fill this field up with mud. That is the first thing I want to do. So, um, is it just mud or is it soil? I think it goes under soil. Is this the right one? No, that is not the one I was after. Um, it doesn't go under dirt because dirt only has the one. 
So there is a... There is one of these. Cloud farmland. But the problem is, is that from a distance it looks... You can see how bad that looks from a distance. Which is why I do not use these. On the other hand... Oh, what's this forest ground? Interesting. That is an interesting ground. Um... Right, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Snow. Did I just see snow? Yes. Uh, no, I'm not going to cover... I could cover everything in the map in snow. Uh, no, maybe... Maybe in the future. That looks like a rock... F okay. That is something I will be able to use. These are, these are definitely things I'll be able to use because the detailing on that... The detailing on that is really quite nice. Yes, I, okay, I need to look into some of this. But these are not... This is the one. Is that the one? What does that look like from... Do you know what? That does not look too bad from a distance. When that is zoomed out, that does not look bad at all. I think that might be the one I was after. Although, it could also be this one that I was after. It's just mud. I think I'll use this one. Um, maybe I should put that up. Bring the brush, brush size down just a little. And I'll just completely cover this. So it just gives it just gives something different to to what I normally have. So normally I have a whole bunch of um, wheat or grass or lavender or something like that. But in a few places, just in a few, I think these will just provide a really nice contrast uh, to to the normal normal style of what we have. So I have this somewhere near um, Ollerton, I think. But I think just in, in general, this will... Oops. This will work. That is going to go anyway in a moment, so does not really matter so so will this this is going to be fixed up so there we go that just just one of those will look perfectly uh, perfectly fine what is this red gravel oh this is literally just gravel that that is red that would look nice as track ballast okay how is this corn going to look from from a height just dark okay I do see a, a pattern at a certain height but if you are driving down or you're on a train not really going to notice that so I will put one field of corn in not particularly keen on this one but I'll go ahead and do that now there is more detailing of course to go and I'm not going to detail everything I'm just going to spend another few minutes detailing because I know this is this video is already coming up to if they're if there was an auto save just before I started, it's just before the intro, and there was another auto save, that is a spacing of 30 minutes. So this video is probably coming up to about 40, 41 minutes currently. I'll check the time 
after I've done this bit. Right, check the time. Uh, yeah, 41 minutes. So, yeah, I'm not, not going to keep this going for too much longer. Now, what else do I want to do? Well, of course, we have to have uh, wheat farms. Wheat farms just... You need them everywhere. So, where should the wheat farms go? Over the top. So, if it's over here, then... I could do this one as a wheat farm. It'd be an interesting one. But, uh... I certainly could do this as a... As a wheat farm. Just erase all of that. Or three wheat farms, really. But let's go ahead and do that. Now, I know I haven't put any trees in or anything yet. Uh, I'll probably end up doing that. That's a bit off camera. Um, I'm not going to be running trains on this just yet anyway. Because I think what I want to do is I want to get the bit to Stratford, sorry, not Stratford, to Sudbury completed so that I can have the entire line and just get the express bit running at the same time. And that might be a better, a better option than just running it to Stratford and then going to extend the line again and then having to change the stopping service timetable again and it's just going to be a bit of a mess uh, when I when I do that so it might just be I might just be better off just completing the entire extension and then running the running the trains on it so this this has been an episode where you've not actually seen many trains we saw a train at the start, and I think we've heard a couple. That's about it. So for transport fever, not much transporting has been done. So there we go. Along there, along there, and I know I've messed up a little, so I will bring that back and just run it back along this bit. And this bit. There we go. I think that looks okay-ish. Maybe I should just put some trees in here. The trees should not take too long. Just be a little bit careful with how I how I place the trees and place a bit more strength than that. Of course, as I said, I can just delete, can delete things then once I am done. Maybe some trees over the top of this would look okay too. There. I'll delete all the trees that are sitting on the embankment itself. Um, or on the cutting, sorry because obviously they, they should not be there. But if I do this... and then go into the eraser... How, does, how is that looking from this level? Very tree-like. Very, very... Very woodlandy. How have you managed to? How have you managed to make your way into there? That. That is interesting. Not sure how, that one managed to work, but there we go. Okay, and then, as I said, what I want to do is just very carefully, erase. Some of the trees. Just around here, right at the tunnel mouth as well. Obviously there should be no trees just along there. And then 
anything that is on the embankment itself or it should not be getting at the tunnel mouth just delete those this isn't quite as neat as when I hand place them but I suppose it will or does just about work These trees here really do need to go, though. And I think that is a good spot to look at ending this video. So, that doesn't look... That does not look terrible. Why are the trees on the road? Hang on. I say it does not look terrible, but I need to break the trees on the road. There we go. That looks okay. That does look somewhat, somewhat presentable. And lastly, as I said, I want to repaint. So this is why I realized painting the other side would not work. Because, because of this. But over here, this should just just be okay. I can just paint these, paint this all through, and then again neaten it up at a later date when I know that I've got all the trees where I want them to be and all of that. This is no point neatening this all up and then going back and saying, oh no, I want to change this, and then changing it, and then it resets. That would just be a bit of a mess. That looks okay. Um, paint something down here a little. I think just a, a little bit down there would work. So, as I said, before I finish this video, one of the things I want to do is show you a couple of the bits that I've done, uh, I've done off camera. So I'll go ahead and show you that in a moment and just talk about where I want to see uh, these these lines going. So, oh, that's that done. And then, I suppose, uh, not what, wheat. Repaint this in. Because that is just annoying. Just keep that as it is. Okay, that does not look uh, too. That does not look too shabby, overall. In fact, that in and of itself could be uh, the thumbnail. It's just a, a, an interesting little bit of detailing going on, which is uh, how do I want to demonstrate this one? Yes, yeah, just a, a, an interesting little bit. Of, of detailing so it doesn't it doesn't look too fancy but you can see that something something is is clearly happening there so there we go I mean I, I could have done a bit here but again I've, I've not put the trees in once the trees are in there and then some of the trees are in there this will work uh, a lot a lot more nicely but anyway, so, off camera, what have I been doing? Um, let me see if I can find an example. Well, first first of all, one of the things that I did do was if we go to Berwick Pond Tweed, you may remember that many, many episodes ago, I mentioned that I had placed a, what I was going to put down as a stream and I placed a line of trees and then realised I made a mess of that because... I had a railway here and the only way to get the stream would be to have a bridge with a stream over it and I thought that isn't going to work in Transport Fever 2. So I've reworked the stream. The stream will now start somewhere here. I'll put some rocks or something and the stream will pop out along here, go through this area and then this bit is where it joins up. So uh, where was it? 
here. It used to go out this way out here instead of brought it in over on this side. And then it continues through as it normally would. But what I have gone and done is started putting the streams, the actual textures uh, for the streams in. So whilst there is, whilst the trees are still there, which is, you know, a little bit annoying, if we do start, for example, popping back the trees here, I have got a stream. And I've done this in, in a number of places uh, across the map where I had plans for for streams. So obviously I haven't not done the I've not done the uh, dropping of the terrain or anything like that. Everything is just surface painted. But there is a stream there. there there's another one, for example. So you can see the stream right there and eventually I will end up putting the, the borders on these and the trees and everything like I have around Sudbury and around uh, Kingsbridge it's Kingsbridge so that stream will start there so that stream is in that stream is in I think I've put a, a couple of others in this one there we go this stream is this stream is in. So yes, off camera I went, I went around uh, doing doing that, uh, just realigning some of these as well, making sure that things look uh, a little a little better. Obviously, I'm going to have to go around now working out each one of these each one of these farms, but again. All of that has to probably happen off camera um, because, well, effectively, it would be doing the same thing again and again and then it would just take many, many, many episodes. So I would rather I try and do that off camera or perhaps maybe with some, some sort of time lapse uh, if possible. But yeah, so I have one there, one there, one there. This bit needs to then be built. I think I've done all the streams around this side too. Yes, so this one, these ones are done. These one, two, three, all of this is done. That one was done previously. Uh, this one was done previously. So yes, I, I've gone and done those two. Have I done this one? No, there's that's one to do. These these bits are left to do, and has this one been done? No. So a few of those are left to do, and then I do want to try to put a couple of streams up somewhere, somewhere here, but I'm not, I'm not sure where. So if there is a spot I can somehow put a stream in, for example, I would say perhaps I could consider doing a stream through this area and then going up into this hill and then maybe have a, a little spur coming off down to this this little lake um, right here. So that could be uh, a place to, to put a stream and... It would give this side of the map that similar sort of detail to to this side of the map, where I think the detail is is a little somewhat better. I, I do think the detail on this side of the map is somewhat better than the detail on the uh, on the north side. So there we go. So that is what I've been doing off camera. And lastly, as I said, plans. So if I just pause this, so the current express line is going to be running Bracknell, Early, Berwick upon Tweed, pass through all of that, and then go. So there will be a turn, a curve here, 
and it will end up in Sudbury. So that is where this this is going to terminate. So this station is going to become much, much larger. In fact, it will probably end up moving over and just having the lines coming in here and having one, two, three, four, maybe six platforms just over on this side. So that is what I'm going to do uh, on this on this end. And of course, with the with the double track needing to be laid out uh, the entire way. So that is how that will work. The stopping service, so that, that is the first express service from Bracknell. The stopping service from Bracknell will be doing something slightly different. So it is going to stop, so it's going to start at Bracknell and we'll do Bracknell, Carnforth, Macclesfield, Ely, West Mercy, uh, Berwick upon Tweed, uh, down on markets, Croydon, Batley, Stratford, Kingsbridge, Taunton. And that will be ending in Taunton. The current line that runs from Sudbury to Taunton will still be running. So I will have a line running Sudbury to Taunton, passing through Kingsbridge. There is going to be the Chagford Stratford upon Avon line is going to be running the Taunton to Stratford upon Avon line is going to disappear that one will be effectively absorbed onto the main line commuter service then what I want to do is I still have Shepshed to connect on this side so what I want is the second commuter service when it gets to so it does exactly the same as the first one the stopping service that is, then at Berwick upon Tweed it will go Ollerton, Maryport, Shepshed, Sudbury. So there will be a line running along that side. This opens up the opportunities for express services, but I do not want an express service, another express service going to Sudbury, when all this is going to do is skip these towns anyway. So what I have planned is, or what I want to do, is start up at Attleborough and have an express line running Attleborough, passes through Barnstable, West Mercy, so maybe have it stop here, go through Litchfield, go through New Romney, connect up in Shepton Mallet and then come back down this way and that one will then continue uh, to Sudbury so that that line would be Sudbury through maybe stop in Shepton Mallet uh, skip New Romney skip Litchfield stop in West Mercy skip Barnstable and go to Asselboro so that is one possibility the other possibility I have is if I were to be able to somehow connect Barnstable, connect this junction up to be able to go in this direction, I could then viably make a commuter line, a stopping service, going Asselborough, Barnstable, skips West Mersey because it jumps onto this area, Berwick upon Tweed, Ollerton, Maryport, Shepshed and Sudbury. And what that would do is allow me to split the line so that there is only one line that goes up through Maxfield 1 stopping service, Maxfield, Conforth and Bracknell. And the other stopping service actually instead peels off and does the Barnstable and Attleborough bit. So that is another possibility which would make Berwick upon Tweed a very busy interchange although that being said with the circle line with the both the north and south circular West Mercy would also West Mercy and Ely would end up being quite busy too I have no intentions of having a route going from Ely um, going out and doing an express route so for example Asselborough 
West Brom, Ely. Oh, actually, that could be a possibility. Not as an express service, but that is a that is a viable commuter service. So extending from New Romney, just keep going down Shepton Mallet, connect underneath Croydon, so we'd have Batley. And in fact, what we could do is we could do Batley and then Bridge North, maybe? Possibly. I need to figure out what to do with Bridge North. So those those are the plans. But my first priority is going to be to complete the detailing in this little bit here. Uh, get the double track and curve running along here for the express route. Retiring the Taunton Knightsbridge, Taunton, Taunton Kingsbridge, Stratford upon Avon line, and getting the commute service running all the way there, and the, uh, the stopping service running all the way there. Excuse me, and the express service running over to Sudbury. So that is the plan. Now that I've gone over that, I think I can end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to click on the like button if you like this video. This is the service that that will end up uh, being replaced. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so. Link in the description box below as are links to my social media and Discord server. That is all from me and I shall see you next time in Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series where, as I said, the next task is going to be to get this bit the Stratford upon Avon south bit all up and running. So I'll see you for that.